Okay, so this video is to just show how to install and change filament on our 3D printers. And uh, so I've got some other things I wanna talk about, but the main thing is when we're changing filament, uh, the extruder or the tip, the nozzle, right, that the plastic comes out, has to preheat and get pretty hot before we can change the filament. So I wanna start that right away so that it gets hot and, and, and moving, and then we can uh, discuss a few other things. And so right at our beginning screen here, we have a button that's called filament. And it's the second from the right right here. So I push that and then it says change filament or view uh, edit filament settings. We want to change filament. So I'm going to click that. And the first thing it says to do is cut filament. And so in our top drawer right up here, we have some little red and black snips that help us to do that. Okay. And so we lift the top lid right up here and we cut it right at the top. Okay, and then we've got our filament loose and free by snipping that really close to the motor, okay? And then uh, going back to our screen, there's a little arrow that once we get it cut, we hit that. And now it says that it's preheating. And so we got a long way to go while it's preheating. While that happens, uh, over here on the right hand side, I can show you what we got over here. Okay, so this is that, uh, excuse me, left hand side when you're looking at it. This is where the filament is. And so you just take this and give it a little bit of a turn and it loosens up. And that reveals our filament right there. We can take this whole spool out now. All right, and so there is the old filament that we don't want. This was a black one that is um, Eco ABS, and we don't need that for what we're doing. We're going to print uh, our name tags and our keychains in all uh, PLA. Uh, if you were doing a different print, though, of course, you could choose a different filament. Uh, where do the filaments go and where do we store them? We got two drawers down here at the bottom, all right? And you can choose whatever you would like to print in, but we want it to be PLA. So look that it says PLA, PLA, PLA. We'll load this one up with blue for today. All right, and so this is still preheating. I don't have to worry about that. The bottom drawer down here has more filament that you can choose from um, and, and make sure that you get the right one and the right color and your settings are correct and all that good stuff. All right, so we get our filament out. And then Okay, so we have our filament now. And you want this little sticker facing out and you're going to feed your filament in this little straw and you'll see it once you get this open So I'm feeding it through the straw here, getting it started. And once I get it coming out the top, I'll show you what we have going on. So now I've got this filament coming out the top up here. And that is what I'm then going to feed down through and let's go ahead and get this a good close view here I feed it through this black thing here first okay and then it goes down into this metal 
right there. And you should feel it start to pull a little bit. So I had to click the arrow over there because it said to please feed. And so now it's going through there good. And when I see this change color, it was black, remember? I want to see it change to blue. And once I see it change to blue, then I'm going to click done down here. So it's still black. Okay, got the new one coming in, starting to change color a little bit. And so now I'm starting to see blue. So I can hit done right there. And now it says that it's um, detecting what type of filament we have, which is that RFID. And it says that it's detected PLA, which is what we want. So we're going to go ahead and hit accept. And now we have the filament changed and that's that. I forgot to mention one thing. So this was the old filament that I took off. This was the Eco ABS that we just replaced. And so you have this um, loose tail that's just kind of hanging out and we don't want to put it back like this. So what we do, all these spools come with these little holes that you see right here and they're on uh, both sides. And so what we do is we just take that little tail and we feed it through, whoops, we don't want it to come all unraveled and get messy and lose a bunch of filament because this stuff is not free. And so then we feed it through the other one. It's through the one. And then we just bring it back through the other one. All right. And so it's around that little loop now right there. And that little tail sticking out and that's okay. But being through both those holes means that it won't just come completely unraveled. And that's how we put it back away.